Here is a bare bones example of routing with Vue.js using the official Vue router. I've got transitions, I've got a menu, if the route is not found, I've got subroutes, and I've got parameters, like for example, Rick James has a user ID of one, and I grab that, and I'm just, I've got placeholder stuff here, but I'll show you how you can get that. Basically, all we're doing is we tell Vue to use Vue router. And then after that, we instantiate the router with the options that we want it to use and the way that we want the URLs and the linking to behave. And then after that, you can tell the router what routes you want redirected to what. In this case, I'm doing the root URL essentially to point right at users slash list, which is going to be my home page. Every time you go here, you're immediately redirected to that route. And then below that, we have router.map, and this is where you define all of your routes. And just take note that normally you'd have something right here when you're defining the components. You would use Browserify here, and you would do something like require home index.view or whatever your component is. I have this set up like this just because I'm in code pen. But basically, this is like a catch-all so that if the route that the user puts in is not found, show them the not found component. And then when a user clicks something that takes them to users, I have this sort of parent view that shows me the user's navigation, and it has this uh, header in it as well. So if you note down here, I have this thing called router view. This is where nested views will appear. So I don't link people to users directly. I actually link them to users slash list so that when they click this, a list of users appear. And right now I have this hard coded, but you get the idea. Normally you would make an HTTP request and you would populate this list with your users. So in this example, I've done users slash one slash profile. One is the parameter for the user that we're gonna grab out of the URL and we're gonna use it to load that user. So when they click that, they are immediately taken to users slash ID slash profile. When I click this user's name, there's their profile. This is the actual page that they're on. And then if I wanted to, I could get, click posts and it would take me to that user's posts. Click profile, back at profile. But basically all that's happening in this route right here, which is a sub route of users, is I've included another navigation for that particular user and I have another router view here so that nested views can be shown. And then if you ever want to access parameters in the URL, all you do in your view is route.params.id. And if you want to link a button or, a, or whatever to a route, you use v hyphen link and that will take them to whatever route you want it to go to. So for example, if we go into my HTML, just so you can see the left-hand navigation that I have here, I actually have vlink users list, vlink different, about. And this is the not found example, but it's vlink, you can't find me, and that immediately redirects me to not found. After you define all of your routes, you're essentially going to tell Vue that here's my sort of parent component. You're declaring the app itself, basically. And then you initialize your application through the router, and you tell it what element you want it to start on and what app or what component you want it to be initialized with. So if you noticed, I have a bunch of transitions going on so that when I click through things, I have this fade-in effect going on, but I don't have it happening on these sub-routes. All that's happening is I've attached the class of test, I have v transition test, transition mode out in. And if I go over to the CSS for this application, you can see that I've got these three classes right here, and this is what causes this transition effect to happen. And if you notice, when I click things, they turn red, and that's because Vue will add this Vue, or this vlink active class every time you click something to that link. Now, to prevent your app from showing a bunch of 
uninitialized template and other random data, you can also add on this thing called vCloak, and vCloak will hide your application until Vue has initialized it. But that is the gist of a bare bones routing example. You should be able to take this and immediately start building out an application with it.